Uh, hey, gents, Carl here with Tactical Rifleman. We're actually at the Louisville Armory. Uh, we're doing a night shooting. Cool part about doing night shooting at an indoor shooting range is I can shoot in the night at high noon. I've got air conditioning, everything's awesome. So uh, anyways, I wanna talk about my top five, my favorite night shooting drills uh, to do with a rifle, do with MVDs. Now, uh, when you're setting up, guys want to shoot with night vision devices, they're sexy. Um, Think about your day shooting, right? Uh, br locking the rifle in the pocket of your shoulder. You need to be able to look through that day optic. All right, so you have options. If you've got a PVS-14, we generally put that over the non-dominant eye. And what that allows you to do is you can still use that day optic on your gun for night shooting. You bring it up, uh, it's great for, if you need more light, hit that visible white light on your gun. So you're bringing it up normal. Now, uh, if you're running uh, PVS-7s, let's say that a dual tube or you've got dual tube nods, and you still want to use that, uh, that EOTech, what you can do is a lot of them you can flip one up for this one, for example. You just do it that way, all right? So, but if you're gonna actually shoot with nods, shoot with nods, shoot looking through your nods, uh, the IR setting on the EOTech, it's a waste of money because you're not going to be looking through it. What you need to do is get a good uh, IR laser, IR aiming device for your gun, whether it's an old PQ2, uh, Pac-15, uh, in this case I'm running the D-Ball uh, A3. Right, what it has is it has a visible laser, but it also has a infrared laser and a IR illuminator. So it's like having that IR flashlight and I've still got my aiming dot. Now when you use it, instead of anchoring that rifle high up in your shoulder to bring that, uh, that reticle, your EATEC, up to your dominant eye, Instead, you're sitting the rifle just slightly lower in your shoulder. You want to keep everything as consistent as possible, but you're dropping it just slightly. And now with the night vision goggles down, I'm actually going to look right over the top of the rifle. I'm not actually looking through my EOTech, but I'm as close as possible. And the reason why I'm doing it as close as possible is because I want all of my muscle memory from during the day I want all that stuff to apply for at night because that's the key is if all you ever do is shoot during the day, when it comes time to shoot in the dark, if you're changing everything up, you're just not gonna be effective with it. So try to keep your night shooting techniques as consistent as possible. We'll bring it down, I'm gonna check my night vision here. All right, now, as far as my favorite drills, guys, you've, uh, my favorite drills are the same as my favorite drills are during the day, within reason, all right? Um, make sure your pistol's hot, right? Uh, make sure your rifle's hot. Which one you load first? I appreciate you asking. Always load that uh, pistol first, then holster it, then load that long gun. My guns are up and running, and uh, I'm just gonna start with up drills. Now, what I'm doing is part of my presentation of the gun, as I'm bringing the gun up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna key that aiming laser, and I'll bring it up onto the target, Acquire, basically it's the same as lining up your sights. Everything else stays the same. Roll through that trigger. So it doesn't matter if you're doing it from the high ready, bring it out, or whether you're doing it from the low ready, anchored in the shoulder, bring it up, all right? You're still aiming the same place. I want to be high A zone. I want you to blow that heart out of the back of the guy's chest. Second drill, we're, we're just building off of that. All we're gonna do is we're gonna, uh, we're gonna just start doing double taps. Every time I bring it up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put two rounds where they need to be. All right, now again, follow through. Everything stays the same just like we did during the day. just like we did during the day. Now, anybody worth shooting once is worth shooting twice. That's why we do double taps. But uh, if you're not getting the desired response, stay on that trigger. So my next favorite drill, just like it is during the day, I like the zipper drill. 
Zipper drill, the non-standard response drill, what you're doing is you're staying on that trigger and you're gonna drive that sight picture, in this case our infrared aiming laser, we're gonna drive it from that high A zone, from that heart, you're gonna drive it all the way up to the T box on the target. So again, you're gonna get up on target, uh, key it up and just start. Stay on it and drive it up to the target. All right. Get on the guy, bring it up and drive the rounds up. Now, you're driving it up. You've heard the, the phrase, zip them up, zip them down. You're not zipping up to the head and then down to the pelvis. What you're doing is you're just like you did during the day, starting high, zone, uh, high A zone, and as you're driving up to the tee box, what you have to understand what you're actually doing is walking the guy down to the ground. You're zipping him up, but you're lowering his body down onto the ground. You have to have that mental image, because that's what you're doing, is this guy's gonna crumple like a bag of stones. All right, from there, my next uh, favorite drill, number four, is the box drill. Why? Because uh, who, said, uh, who said he's not going to bring friends? So in this case, we've got two targets to our front, just like during the day, two to the chest, two to the chest. Each target, knock them off balance, and then you're going to follow it up with a headshot on each one. So I'm going to bring it up, t uh, chest, to the chest, to the chest, up to the t up to the other t Right, if you miss, follow through. Hit the guy again. All right, follow through. My targets are down. What do you do if your rifle shits the bed on you? If that gun dies, what you do is you go right into what we call the check drill. All right. All right. So what I've done to set up the rifle is I've got anywhere from one to five bullets in it, and I'm going to basically just do the same box drill I just did. I'm just building off the last drill. Now, whenever that rifle dies. Whenever it quits running, I'm going to transition to my pistol and uh, I'm going to finish the drill from there. All right, so I'm going to set it up. Same thing, I'm just doing the box drill again. I'm going to set it up. All right, it just shit the bed on this first guy. I'm going to transition to my next guy. I'm going to white light. Then I'm going to finish the drill off to the head. Another one to the head. I'm going to follow through. I'm going to check my rifle. That's something I can fix. And I'll check and then reassess. I'm set. All right, guys, so basically that's my five favorite drills that I like to do. Again, build it off the same muscle memory that you have during the day. Up drills, double taps, zipper drills, box drills, it's all stuff that's the same. But you'll find that when you start doing it in the dark and you start doing more manipulations of the gun, you start doing the, the uh, check drills, you start doing mag reloads, you're going to find, whoa, wait a minute, I can't see. I can't see my sights on my pistol, they're out of focus. I can't see that extra mag, I can't see into the mag. Uh, I can't see any of the ejection port of that rifle. Learning to master all these other things, that's what's gonna put you above your peers. That's, gonna, that's what's gonna make you succeed on the modern battlefield. So anyways, that's my top five drills for uh, shooting under night vision devices, all right? Uh, if you got any questions, you know the deal. Leave them below, I read everybody's comments, and uh, I'll see y'all next Friday. Y'all take care, shoot straight. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything. If you like the shirt that we're wearing in the video, you can get it in our store.